Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Pokemon Reborn. Last episode, guys, we started working on Route 1. Yes, I said it, Route 1. Um, here's, here's the team right now, it's obviously the same. Uh, we're just, we're just gonna keep moving along here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, cause I had to pause to get a bunch of things done. And I can scoot right on through here now. No, oh. oh. Need to do one more. Uh, we're gonna need to do one more crustal, apparently. So let's get that done. So we're gonna move you here, here. Now I should be able to go up like this. Oh wait, aha, I got it. I forget some of these things. Oop. A shiny Machoke. We need a Machoke, but we also need a Machamp. Ah, whatever, great ball. Come on, just get in the ball. Just get in the ball. I obviously need to catch a bunch of Pokemon in this area because there's all new Pokemon all over the place now. So, we'll need to take care of that here sooner rather than later, uh, and we got Machoke. Awesome. See how fast that switched me around, guys? NTG, it's been so long. I'm surprised to see you. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. I'm glad you're here. You can finally meet Tanya. Hmm? What's that? You have news from the circus about a gate? I had heard what was going on and was thinking about doing some digging, but... Well, I was still recovering from that attack at Black Steam Factory. Maybe it's finally time to get back to the action, though. So what's this lead? A team mage... Aim to do... Oh, that's the T that Ace told us about. If what Ace said is true, and with them, who knows? She doesn't want to join after I had been looking into Borealis, so I don't think I could have found anything about them already. But they're supposedly operating somewhere nearby. Hmm. It's funny, isn't it? Tijuana sounds so familiar, so similar to Titania. But what? But that's probably just a coincidence, right? What coincidence? Oh, hi, Tanya. Tanya, this is NTG. I. The NTG, I told you about. Hi. Ignore the mess. We weren't expecting company. So you were talking about me? I was just telling NTG how you take such good care of me. And I'll keep doing my best to think about what we talked about. Like recovery and all that. Uh, huh. This seems to be a day for surprise guests. Yeah, we just chanced on Tanya's little brother not too long ago. Tanya found him on her way back when I asked her to go get me some cotton candy. She carried him back and I was like, wow, that's some big cotton candy. He was sleeping face down in the dirt. Hardy always was a heavy sleeper, but, no, but this is a new low. Huh? You were looking for Hardy? Well, he's right upstairs. Here, let's go. 
Nope, you're staying put. You need to rest. Uh -huh. Okay. We think I might have crapped a, cracked a couple of ribs after the incident with Solaris. But it'll be okay. I'm sure I'll be back in action soon. Up this way, NCG. Alright. Hi, Hardy. Let's get one thing straight. You're not going to drag her into this t meteor business. And Maria struggles with depression and self-harm on the regular, alright? Already. She doesn't need more trouble weighing her down on top of that. And this trouble is already looking for her. I'm not going to abide by you pushing her over the edge into the oncoming danger. You'll finish the errands you came for and leave her out of it. Now move. The only thing that can wake Hardy up are acts of God and violence. <laughs> Used to wake up slack. Ah, oh, what's... Mm, tired. Oh, okay, I, I'm up already. Yikes. Huh? Hey, sis. Should have guessed it was you from the smarting pain. An NTG, right? Sup. I found you passed out on the ground. You what? Oh. Hey, where'd... There you go. Huh? She's at the circus? Hey, uh, yeah, she's the new poison leader. I was taking her up to show her my gym, and I don't know what happened. Next thing I know, I'm here. Sounds like one hell of a first date. Oi, shut off. It wasn't like that. Hey, it's okay, right? Hey, I should find her. Oh, my whole body's sore for whatever reason. I'm sure it had nothing to do with you sleeping face down in the dirt. Beat sleeping here. I don't feel like bumming off of my sister longer than I have to. Agreed. It's best if you go. You gonna follow him or what? Uh, yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> the TV. And now, a breaking news report from Gossip Gardevoir. Hello, Reborn. I'm here in Calcineon City. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Cal City. We'll call it Cal City, guys. With Dragon Leader Sephira, where a sudden showdown has just taken form. As most know, the cities of Cal and Lab, Labradora, sit right next to each other. But in a sudden uprising, the evil organization Team Ear has completely seized control of Labradora City. Most citizens were safely evacuated, but some are still being held as hostages. However, resistance is taking shape in Cal City on the part of some of Reborn's toughest trainers. Sephiria, what are your thoughts on this scenario? I'm not interested in negotiating with them. We'll find a way around the barrier and take back the hostages. That's right, Team Meteor is employing a special technology. My sources tell me the machine they use is called the Pulse, and they've hooked a Mr. Mime up to it, creating a massive force field around Lab. It isn't their only one. We know that they're preparing a second Pulse within the city, and they have two more in the surrounding areas. With these mysterious machines amping up their Pokemon's powers, there's no telling what they'll do. Can anything break the force field around Labradora City? What will happen to the resistance in Cal? Stay tuned to find out. Gossip Gardevoir, the pulse. It's just like that with that mock. Maybe we ought to go up there and help the resistance out. No. What do you mean no? We can't just let Team Meteor do whatever they want. Don't get involved. It's better if you don't. Whatever you say, sis. I'm going to go find Aya. Peace. Is it really okay to just let them do whatever they want? The less you're involved, the better. I know they're after the sapphire bracelets you gave me. I'm definitely never going to let them have them, but why would they want them? How should I know? Where did you get them? I was hiking around the Crystolia region and a handful of years ago when I found a, found a hidden lake. The ground was covered in ash, so I assumed there had been a wildfire nearby at some point. The bracelets were buried in the ash. I stumbled on them by chance, so I took them with me. But that's irrelevant. What matters is you keep them away and lay low. Well then, maybe NTG can go instead. He's been crucial in defeating Meteor before. Do whatever you want. If you're going to Cal City, you need to go through Amertrine Mountain, which means you're going to need Surf. Coincidentally, we have the machine for that here. There's no point in giving someone the machine if they don't have the badge to use it yet. Oh yeah, you probably need one of the circus leader's badges to use it. Didn't we get a promotion from them in the mail? We did. I'm not sure why they bothered sending a battle pass to two gym leaders, but here it is. Battle pass strike. There you go. The gate circus has an arbitrary system, so you can't face its leaders without these passes. That's one's, that one's for Samson. If you beat him, come back and we'll give you surf. Good luck, NTG. We know you can do it. I'll do my best, I'll do my best with what we talked about, too. Or resting, that is. Sounds great. So it looks like we're already going to have a 
Another gym battle. Which, ladies and gentlemen, I approve of that. So, let's get to it here real quick. We set the team up for, uh, for him anyways. So. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! I could feel it. In fact, I could practically smell it. One of those battle passes making its way back here. I'm glad you were able to find one, NTG. And I know that can only mean one thing, but first, allow me to test your metal. It's all for the show, you see. I gotta know what my crew is up against so I know how to hype it. Even a weak challenger could still be good for an underdog story and just for the trio's rep. But we have to frame it that way. On the other hand, if this is going to be a nail-biter, I want to know ahead of time. So, NGG, show me what kind of story we can expect from you. Oh, had I known... Oh, I forgot completely about that. So now I'm at a disadvantage because my team is pretty well... It's pretty hurting. What's the nature power here? Acrobatics? Not really gonna help me. Alright. Oh, at least I'm... Oh, and now I'm stuck here. Now I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh. The very least, though. We're in... We're in a pretty good, uh... Scenario right now. Earthquake. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Definitely was nice for him. Um, we're gonna go Espeon here. Primarina. I'm gonna go to Orc Coriel. Oh, it's got Ice Beam. Shit. Um, Revolution Dance. Ah! Crowbat. Cross Poison. Luxray. I'm gonna go to Typhlosion here. Typhlosion should be faster. I can hit it with an Eruption. Yep. Blaziken. Go to Espeon here. Psychic. Get it down to one. Crobat, are you f faster? Nope. Okay. Um, I don't have shit. Um, we gotta go Typhlosion here and hope. Okay. That's what we needed. Alright. A nail biter it is then. Maybe even a sweep with some luck. Ooh, I do just kind of love it when Samson is in particular loses. No real reason. And definitely no under the table bets with him and seal about how many times they lose to on the challenger's first attempt. No siree, none of that here. Anyway, I'll go make preparations at once. Tell Samson to get his butt into the gear. Alright. Hmm? You want to challenge me? Sorry, dude, but no can do. The ringmaster's a real stickler about her policies. Anyone who wants to battle has to have a battle pass. Much like the one you're holding. Well, then, I assume the ringmaster already gave you her surprise challenge, so... Uh, no, I'm not actually ready quite yet, because what I want to do is... Do I want to put Oracorial first, or do I want... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go Heracross first here. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please to an exciting exclusive challenge to the esteemed Agate Ace Trivium of Leaders. Today in the left corner we have a first time challenger to Agate NTG. In the right corner, you've seen him at the striker busting bells in the sky. You've seen him in the big top juggling people as if they could fly. And now you're going to see him on the center stage as he shows us what power really means. He's the Agate Circus strongman, Samson. How are y'all doing? This will be a six-on-six -six single match. All right. Let's get an all-in and knockout fight. Go on and get wrecked. All right. So I'm going to do close combat. Whammo is okay. And his is powerful. But that's fine because now we'll come in with Oracorio. We can do Revelation Dance. Get me a speed and attack boost. I should have done it first. I should have put Oracorial first because now this... This Aluch is a problem. Because it's got Unburden. I'm about to get wiped. Yeah, I'm about to get wiped. Savali's the only one that took a single hit. Okay, so... Let's try Oracorial first then, I guess? I mean... But even still, we're... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, that's a legit question. What am I supposed to do here? Alright, cut here. I got an idea. Oh, wait. Wait a second here. Quick Claw activated. Damn. All right, so I did a little bit of training off screen very quickly here, guys. Uh, Noivern um, boosted its speed and special attack here. We're going to go with Noivern because I can get Tailwind off really quickly, and hopefully that'll get me past the Halucha real fast. So let's try to see if my strategy actually works. I mean, just needed to get it off right there. It can take out Noivern. I'm fine with that. Whatever. Or Corio. Now you gotta come in. Give me a Revelation Dance. Boost my attack and my speed. It's gonna come out with Conkledor. I mean, hopefully we just... And the tailwind stopped blowing. Of course, it wait. He waited for that. And of course, I'm probably not going to get my future site. 
Nope, I'm not gonna get my future sight. Gosh darn it. And I don't have any. He planned it. He planned it well. Alright. Um. The problem ends up becoming Lucario with that strategy right there. So we're going to try this one more time. And if not, it looks like we're being Samson the next episode. That's the best I can say. So we're going to Tailwind. Or Corio now. And the Revelation Dance. He's going Conkledor. I'll stay in with Oracorial right now, but when it goes to Lucario, so we'll go with Typhlosion. And from Typhlosion, we'll go Flamethrower. We can do that. Mind Shoe. Mind shoe. We'll go Espeon. now. And I'm screwed. I lost every mon that could help me with that. So... Essentially, I'm waiting for... Essentially, at this point, I'm going to be waiting for a cl quick cloud to go off. So... I'll, I'll come up with a better strategy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe channel if you're not done so already. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!